Hey everybody, Dan here with the World Stone Keep. I posted a video yesterday, just a brief outline of the gold selling feature of the Real Money Auction House, and a bunch of people sent me messages asking me to explain what I meant when I said that the price per unit harvests from the bottom. So, here's an in-depth look at where that price per unit value comes from. First, let's demonstrate how it changes. If I search for a thousand gold, it gives me search. It gives me this unit right here, 4.00 blizzard uh, blizzard bucks. Uh, so it gives me this number, but if I instead search for 200,000 gold, the number shoots way up to 28.58. Um, so this happens because it's going through all the listed auctions and grabbing the cheapest deals it can to try and fill my order. But if my order is large enough, like if it's 200,000 instead of one, then it runs out of cheap gold and has to start drawing on much, much more expensive listings. So when it's found enough to fill my order, then it just averages my price per unit based on my final total cost. So to illustrate this, let's say I want to buy 10 boxes, and the 10 cheapest boxes for sale, lettered A through J, are selling for 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 7, 9, and $50. The final price I pay is equal to A plus B plus C, and so on through J, so all told I pay $90. 90 divided by 10 is $9 per box. This is the same process that the RMAH uses when it's looking for gold, crafting materials, gems, and any other commodity. So understanding these mechanics are important if you don't want to get ripped off. Notice how that last box was sold for $50, more than 10 times the price of most of the other boxes, and more than half the value of the total sale. But the price per box only went up to $9. If I bought only the first nine boxes instead for a total of $40, my price per unit would drop in half to 4.44 per box. That's why these averages right here are so important, the last 10 sales in the last day. If you're looking for gold or crafting materials and the price per unit that you're being quoted is significantly higher than the average, then you're probably buying a $50 box and are paying a lot of money for a very small portion of your total purchase. Unless you really, really need it right now, I suggest you buy a smaller quantity closer to average and check back in a few hours when more people have listed for cheaper. So, there's the hidden process behind price per unit. I'm Dan with the World Stone Keep. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.